Assalamu alaikum dear students. In the last lecture we discussed inner product between uh, vectors that is also known as dot product. In this lecture I'll extend the same concept and we will know that uh, inner product is not just restricted to the vectors it can be applied to so many so many other spaces like it can be applied to matrices and it can also be applied to polynomials of degree n so uh, before going to matrices and polynomials let me uh, just review or revisit the previous concept that we have learned that uh, this is the standard inner product uh, on Rn. Rn is actually the n-dimensional vector space. Suppose if we had two vectors, u is a vector in Rn and its component are u1, u2 up to un and then there is another vector v1, uh, v whose components are v1, v2 up to vn. Then the inner product between u and v is denoted by these uh, brackets and we read it like the inner product between u and v and in the case of vectors that is same as u dot v and that is actually the first component of u multiplied with the first component of v then plus then the second component of u being multiplied with the second component of v that is u2 v2 and up to so on so this is how we take the inner product between two vectors in vector spaces or the space uh, uh, n dimensional vector space now to have an idea that why do we study these uh, inner products actually the inner product is associated to the norm of vector and that norm represents the length of a vector then we can use the norms to calculate the distance between two vectors we can calculate the distance between two curves and we can uh, calculate the distance between two fun functions so that is why we study norms and inner products okay so the relation between inner product and the norm is expressed by this equation v norm is actually the length of vector v and that is actually the square root of the product inner product of v with itself uh, let me explain it over here suppose we have a vector whose coordinates are x and y i mean it can be x i plus y j like v has we have two components that is x and y and by previous lectures we know that v norm would be nothing but the square of x component plus the square of y j component that should be j actually okay square root so this is actually the norm of a vector so in terms of inner product if we write square root of v, uh, the product of inner product of v with itself, that would be nothing but square root of x y dot x y. And if we take the dot product, that would be x times x, that would be x squared, plus y times y, that would be y squared, and square root, that is exactly same as v norm. And that is the fact which is written over here that the inner product of any vector with itself taken square root would give us the norm of the vector or we can write that v norm square would be v comma v or the inner product of v with itself okay so the norm is associated to the distance and this is the actually the distance between two vectors uh, one vector is u and v and the d represents the distance between these two vectors and that is nothing but the norm of u minus v that I have already stated in the previous lecture and in terms of inner product that is the same as the vector u minus v times the vector itself I mean the inner product of u minus v with itself taken square root would give us the norm of u minus v that is the distance between 
u and v okay that was for standard uh, inner product uh, in r n okay now these are the few properties we have already discussed in previous lecture uh, like the norm is always positive uh, it norm is always non negative and if it is zero then the vector itself have to be has to be zero okay if we multiply a scalar with a vector then take its norm that is nothing but uh, k absolute times the norm of v itself and distance between u and v is same as distance between v and u and distance between two vectors any two vectors u and v is always positive uh, always greater than or equals to zero and that is always non-negative and it is only zero if u and v are the same vectors or they coincide okay now to extend the concept there is another type of inner product which is called weighted inner product okay in standard inner product suppose we have two vectors u is equal to u1 u2 u3 so on up uh, uh, just take these three for example suppose we have a vector v that is v1 v2 v3 okay for standard inner product u dot u comma v that would be u dot v and that would be nothing but the dot product between u1 u2 u3 and v1 v2 v3 so this is simply the dot product so we would have u1 v1 plus u2 v2 plus u3 v3 so this is standard inner product there is another uh, inner product which is, which is called weighted inner product okay so to discuss weighted inner product we will have few weights like if we have u1 u2 u3 v1 v2 v3 then we will have weights w1 w2 and w3 and to find the weighted inner product that would be represented like this u v okay there is no uh, difference in representation but when we calculate that inner product we will just multiply each term of standard inner product with a weight that is w1 then we will multiply w2 to, to the second term that is u2 v2 plus w3 u3 v3 this particular inner product is called weighted inner product okay so uh, this is defined over here if w1 w2 w3 up to wn are positive real numbers which we call weights and if u equals to u1 u2 up to so on un is a vector and v is another vector okay then this expression would be called weighted inner product and that I have explained uh, with help of a three-dimensional vector okay so the inner product is not just restricted to uh, vectors we can extend the idea and let me tell you the inner product between two uh, matrices suppose we are dealing with uh, a vector space a matrix space of n cross n matrices then the inner product between two matrices is defined as the inner product between a and b is nothing but the trace of a transpose b okay so here you might see few new uh, terminologies uh, one is a trace trace is actually the sum of diagonal elements in a matrix and here a transpose is actually make, converting the rows of a matrix A into columns or we can convert the columns into rows that would give us A transpose okay 
And uh, to uh, understand this concept, uh, I'll explain a, an, a, an example, and I hope that by that example you would be able to understand this concept. Okay. Now, again, norm of A is uh, expressed as an inner product of a with itself square root and that is actually the trace of a transpose with itself okay now to understand uh, the concept of inner product uh, let me uh, take an example and here we have two mat uh, matrices one is u and another one is v u is uh, 2 cross 2 matrix and V is also a 2 cross 2 matrix so we are dealing with M22 that is a vector space of 2 cross 2 matrices okay so to apply the formula we would have uh, let me take this that would be the standard inner product between two matrices let me remind you previously we have done the dot uh, dot product or inner product between uh, two vectors now we are applying an inner product between two matrices so the matrices uh, are u and v and both of them are two cross two matrices and their inner product would be written as trace of u transpose v okay and i have already explained the terms that is transpose as uh, transpose and trace okay we had u u was 1 2 3 4 to take the u transpose we just have to make this row into column that is 1 2 row would be converted into 1 to column and the next row that is 3 4 3 4 would be written as the second column that is 3 4 so this is actually u transpose and then there is a usual mul matrix multiplication we multiply this matrix with this one and we get this answer and later on we have the final matrix in this form so to take the trans uh, trace of uh, this matrix we just add the diagonal elements uh, on this diagonal uh, so that there would be 8 plus 8 so the trace of this thing is 16 and that was actually the inner product between u and v and that is how we take the inner product between any two matrices now uh, even for the matrices u norm would be the square root of inner product of u with itself so if we take u norm that would be the trace of u transpose u and you can solve it yourself uh, that would be under root 30 and you can confirm it yourself uh, i'll let you uh, i'll let this for you to uh, solve yourself now there's another type of inner product that is the standard inner product on pn here pn is the space of uh, vector space of n order polynomials all the polynomials of degree n suppose we have two polynomials one is p that is a naught plus a one x plus a two x squared up to so on a n x n that is one polynomial and there is another polynomial that is b2 b1 b0 plus b1x plus up to so on b n x power n okay if we uh, want to take the inner product of these two polynomials all we have to do is multiply the, the coefficients and then add them so the inner product between polynomials of the same degree would be defined like this that is pq is nothing but the product of their coefficients a0 times p0 plus a1 times b1 plus a2 times b2 up to so on a n times b n okay so that was another type of inner product that is the inner product between the polynomials of uh, degree n okay so 
there is another type of inner product which is also called integral inner product on uh, continuous functions uh, which are continuous on inter close interval a b okay so if we have two functions one is f of x and another is g of x and both are uh, continuous and defined on uh, an interval a b then the inner product between these two functions can be written as an integral from a to b f of x g of x dx okay so whatever the function is you will just write it inside the integral both f and g would be multiplied and then we will simply take the integral and that will complete the in inner product between two functions okay uh, for functions again norm of a function that is the length of that curve would be uh, the inner product of f with itself square root and that is f is nothing but a to b f square dx square root okay so to practice these uh, problems uh, to take the inner product of uh, different spaces, uh, different elements of different spaces. Uh, there are a few questions that you can do as practice exercises. And the book is same, uh, that is Ontens Linear Algebra and exercise is 6.1 and the question that you can attempt are written over here. Okay, in the, le in the next lecture I'll discuss, uh, I'll discuss uh, a, inner product space and I'll uh, show with an example uh, how to prove that a particular operation is uh, inner product or uh, that particular process belongs to the inner product space. Till then, uh, Allah Hafiz and take care.